now that I've got the case mounted and the motherboard back into the system, I had to do some modifications, which means I had tin snips and some cutting to do for the back of the case. Now I had an 80 millimeter fan and I needed a 120 adapter. So I hooked this adapter on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the air, the cool air from the outside into the case and allow it to cool like that. So what I needed to do is I needed to actually have my radiator and my CPU and I actually, see how that slides in there? Actually slides in and it'll mount. So this will go like that. So that's what we're planning to do for this. So I will get everything mounted. So what I needed to do was I actually have my radiator on the outside. I have the fan pulling the air in through this way as it's supposed to do. And then I have my Corsair unit ready to go. Now it already has a thermal paste applied so all I need to do is flip it over here, mount it into my CPU, and then get the bracket lined up. So to do that I just line it up, pop it in, and then twist until it lines up. Once it lines up, then all I need to do is to go in and tighten up the bracket to get everything lined up. So hopefully you're seeing this okay. Everything's lined up the way it's supposed to. It should have seated properly. Now the only thing that I need to do now is hook up the two electrical connections. And to do that I have the fan and I have the pump. So the pump is going to go on one side and the fan is going to go on the other. So fortunately I have enough cable and I just be careful because of the amount of serious damage I did to my case. And I'm just going to mount and connect First connection there, and the section, the second connection. Excuse my big head. I have to remember where I had it. There it is down there. So this is what I've got. So everything went through pretty straightforward. Uh, I have all of my other cables connected, and now what I'm going to do is power up the unit. So we'll take a minute here and we'll be right back once I get all the cables connected. Okay, so I ended up putting the power supply, uh, connecting it back together, putting in my VGA just for now, and my USB keyboard and mouse, and we're ready to power up the system. So let's hope for good luck and no shorts. This is the final look. Uh, currently right now I'm booting up to Windows so everything is starting well. The unit's pretty clean. Well maybe not so clean but it looks pretty cool. So I have the radiator on the outside, the fan pulling the air through and then everything mounted through the inside. Again, you can see the rest of my stand that I have, so I have all the wiring and everything else for all of my testing that I do. So it's turned out pretty well. And again, it does look pretty nice from the front, which is where most of the time that I'll be seeing it from. So looks pretty good. So thanks for being a part of this, and I will talk to you soon.